Chanel Dion, who has the latest. Good morning, Chanel. It's always a pleasure to see you. Some big news to cover today. So you just got back from New York where you met with Rudy Giuliani and Steve Bannon. What did you find out during your trip? My goodness, Emily. So to those who have been following this story since OAN was covering this, uh, at least since last year, you would think that the hard drive and the stories and the emails that are coming out now what I saw last night, you would think it was fiction, but it's not. The media wants us to believe this is fiction, but it's not. And now there's pictures, there are emails, there are text messages, all being revealed over the course of the next few days. Uh, what I saw last night was I, I, I saw the emails, I saw the text messages, the documents that have long been circulated and rumored to have been exist in existence, and they do in fact exist. And what do they say? Well, I sat down with Rudy Giuliani for a long-form interview. We visited for a very long time. I saw the contents of this hard drive. And what we have seen so far in the first two days of this story breaking out is just a fraction of what's really in that hard drive, Emily. And what's really astounding is that this doesn't show us anything new insofar as you're in the camp that says Joe Biden is a corrupt politician who has enriched his family for decades. If you believe that, then what you're about to see in the next few days in terms of the pictures and the emails are just going to confirm beyond doubt that you have been right from the very beginning. Now, for those who are trying to cover it up, they are trying to censor it on social media. They're trying to, to lay blame on the source of information saying that this is faulty somehow, these are, hacked, these are hacked pieces of information, but what I can tell you from what I saw last night, this is not hacked information, this is 100% Hunter Biden and his wheeling and dealing overseas to help enrich the entire Biden family using his father's vice presidential office. So uh, something that you will probably not see in the next few days in terms of uh, actual graphics, I can't even describe on television. They were so salacious. Um, but they were clearly pictures and videos of Hunter Biden and his lewd obsessions, to put it mildly. Um, and, and they include scenes of him actually committing crimes like smoking crack while driving a vehicle. And there are many pictures of him actually abusing drugs and uh, doing so illegally. Um, what we also can confirm is that uh, it's, it's shocking that the repairman who has come out with this computer, the media is going to try and slam him and his reputation uh, in an effort to quiet this story. But what is interesting is that the repairman has the documents to prove that he legally had this laptop from Hunter Biden. It was dropped off at his repair shop, a waterlogged MacBook Pro, and it was abandoned. Hunter Biden, who is a drug addict, forgot about this laptop. And it's clearly shown in the documentation that the repairman has in Delaware. And it's going to be interesting to watch how the media either ignores or spins this, Emily. Bob Chanel, so you had a live, a, a first-hand look at all of this, and those are some pretty shocking details there. Now, as you mentioned, accusations of potential wrongdoing by the Biden family has been circulating for months now, yet Democrats continue to turn a blind eye to the issue. Do you think that Democrats will be forced to finally acknowledge the Biden family's corruption with the release of this hard drive? It's a, that's a huge question, Emily, and so far what we have seen them do, them being the left, the Democrats, and the Biden campaign, they have simply been either in continued denial, saying that uh, some of portions of this are Russian propaganda, or it's, uh, it's material that has been illegally gathered and therefore should not even be considered for the public eye. Um, it is unclear right now what the Biden campaign can do to remedy the vast disaster that they are facing in the next few days. What you have is Hunter Biden clearly showing himself, not only in emails that have been verified last night when I spoke to Mayor Giuliani about this, emails that, have, that verify that the Biden family is clearly wheeling and dealing and it's verified on two sides. You can verify an email based on where it originates and you can verify an email based on who receives it, the date, and the time. All of that has been done, so the homework has been done. So at this point, if the Democrats continue
continue to deny this, it's only going to put a spotlight on their either ignorance or their corruption in insisting that Joe Biden is a solid candidate for the U.S. presidency. It's a very difficult spot, and uh, it, there's going to be very little room for them to continue to deny this. So um, we'll have to simply see what their messaging campaign is in the next few days as more of this unfurls. And, and this, Chanel, this is certainly something the public should be seeing, but Twitter and Facebook have played an active role in blocking this story. And you yourself have been a victim of censorship by Twitter when they suspended your account last year. Now, what do you think about the social media giant's actions, which essentially amount to election interference? This time last year, we were in the thick of Russia collusion, and there was a bit of uh, censorship that was taking place back then. But now, Emily, what's even more astounding is that the censorship is blatant. And in doing so, in Twitter censoring Kaylee McEnany, the press secretary for the White House, in censoring the campaign, the Trump campaign official website and official Twitter account, censoring major accounts from which people are collecting information, the censorship uh, scheme is just blowing wide open. So at this point, Jack Dorsey of Twitter and Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook uh, not only have submitted orders and since retracted those orders, apologizing for censoring such people as Kaylee McEnany, even our own OAN reporters. Um, what you have them now is, is they are sitting on a hot seat. And soon, on Tuesday, Senator Ted Cruz just announced that on Tuesday, the Senate Judiciary Committee is going to vote on whether they're going to subpoena Jack Dorsey of Twitter uh, to question him on the entire process that led Twitter as an organization to stop, censor, and mute this bombshell story, the smoking gun for the Bidens, when, uh, you know, this clearly amounts to, to campaign interference. And you will, ex you will watch the Senate make that point on Tuesday, and uh, we will be awaiting the big tech lobby's response. And at this point, again, they have very little room to respond because they clearly are censoring and muting this story, and it's without doubt in the open. Now, Chanel, before I let you go here, you've not only been a victim of censorship, you've also been treated very poorly by the media. You were called a liar for your reporting on the violence in the Ukraine, but with these latest developments, it seems your critics will be left eating crow. Tell our viewers more about the original story that you broke. <laughs> well, Emily, I doubt that we'll have the satisfaction of watching our adversaries eat crow. Uh, they're not very good at being honest with themselves. But uh, around this time last year, actually, we, OAN, broke key elements of the stories that you're about to hear all over again in the coming week. And we did that by going straight to the source. I interviewed Rudy Giuliani back when we were in the middle of this Russia collusion. You had Adam Schiff leading this impeachment against President Trump, and he kept naming these names that, uh, indicting names like Rudy Giuliani and figures in Ukraine. So OAN flew to Ukraine. I went over there myself to verify some of the documentation that showed Joe Biden was corruptly abusing his vice presidency to enrich himself, his son, and his entire family. So what we did when we flew over to Ukraine with Rudy Giuliani was go straight to the source. We, we had these documents. We showed them to the either the authors or the people who had them in their official offices. We interviewed prosecutor generals, and we spoke to officials and confirmed that indeed these documents were real. And what these documents said, what OAN broke last year, was that Joe Biden was abusing his office to enrich his son, himself, and his entire family, and they engaged in outright crimes to do so. So that's the short of it. Uh, our viewers, if you've been watching this story, have been tracking this for a long time. But for the new viewers in our audience, you can watch all of this on OANN.com. Uh, the entire investigative series is posted online for free, so I recommend uh, for those who want to play catch up and watch all of this unfurl before our eyes, you can watch it on OAN. But uh, uh, it's it's very interesting to watch all of this circulate back. And uh, what's shocking, truly, Emily, from my visit last night with uh, Mayor Giuliani, my interview with him, and looking at that hard drive, 
What's shocking is how much of our original reporting has been confirmed. So stay tuned. We have much more to come out. We'll be on the front lines of this story. Certainly, Chanel, this is something you've been following for a long time, and I will say you were on top of it before anyone else. So thank you so much for that report this morning, and we look forward to hearing more from you with all the latest developments. One America's chief White House correspondent, Chanel Rion. Thank you.